we would like to integrate the heat flux along that boundary to get the overall heat flux crossing the bottom surface. And that's analogous to integrating that curve, basically. Now, it turns out there's an easy way to do this in ANSYS. And to show you that, let me go to the boundary condition. So if I highlight steady state thermal, it will show me the boundary conditions applied. Let me uh, minimize this and this. And I can, so here I'm maintaining the surface at a temperature of one. This is non dimensional, really. And so I need to apply a heat flux to maintain it at the temperature, and ANSYS calls this a reaction. And this comes from analogy to structural mechanics. So to get that, I take that boundary condition and I just drag it onto the solution tree and it calls it a reaction. So let me just rename that. I'll right click rename and I'll say overall heat flux crossing bottom surface. Okay, and I can right click and say evaluate all results. And I can ignore this, um, the unit, because this is dimensionless. So it's 1.648 that overall equals. Similarly, one can calculate the overall heat flux crossing the right boundary as um, the reaction at, at uh, that boundary. So I will go here and I will just take that boundary condition and drag it on to the solution branch. And then let me rename that. I'll rename this as overall heat flux crossing right surface. Enter and I would say evaluate all results. And so I see it's minus 1.648. The minus indicates that heat is flowing out of the domain and that exactly balances the heat coming into the domain through the bottom surface. So the heat coming through the bottom surface balances the heat going out through the right surface and so the energy balance is satisfied.